Hey guys, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is actually Monday. I don't usually start my weekly reading vlogs on Monday, but here I am. <laughs> Penny and I are going to Dan and Phil's World Tour, the interactive introverts tour. We're going to that tonight. I'm so excited because I love them and I've been watching, especially Dan, for years. I'm sure it's going to be hilarious and I'm really excited. Except it is raining. <laughs> I swear the only times that I ever go out, it rains. <laughs> it's so annoying. But anyway, so... Yeah, I'm really excited for that, so I'm actually kind of stressing because I don't think I'll be able to finish, actually, I definitely won't be able to finish editing the weekly reading vlog tonight. So I have edited a little bit of it, um, I did that yesterday, but I'm going to continue editing a little bit more before I go. And I also have my August wrap up ready to go, so I need to do the thumbnail for that. I'll just quickly update you on what I'm reading. So, I'm currently reading A Stranger Dreamer. If you haven't seen my past two weekly reading vlogs, then you wouldn't know that I have started this and I'm loving it and it's everything. <laughs> so the plan is to finish this this week and I'm really excited because, yeah, I'm just loving this so much. I'm also currently listening to the audiobook for Blue Lily Lily Blue and I'm on page 77 and I think I'll finish this this week or next week. I'm not going to rush myself through the audiobook, but I am really enjoying it. Um, yeah. At the moment, I think it might be tying for my favourite with the Raven Boys in the series, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to try to finish Stranger Dreamer and possibly Blue Lily Lily Blue this week. And I also might pick up Full Metal Alchemist. I included this in my September TBR, but it is my low priority. So I think I might read this like while I'm eating. And I'm reading this because I'm watching the anime, but I don't want to continue until I've caught up with the manga. I want to read them like at the same time. So I'm nearly finished. I think it's called part one of the anime. So I want to read this collection of the volumes one, two, and three. So yeah, I'm not going to do the blackboard quote yet because I haven't posted my weekly reading vlog. So I haven't got the quotes yet. And also I need to hurry up and do some things before I go. So yeah, I'm excited for tonight and yeah. <laughs> Is there going to be music playing as well? since Monday. Sorry about that. I've been really busy and yeah. <laughs> but I have made some progress with my books. So for Blue Lily, Lily Blue, I'm on page 207. So I'm actually over halfway through the book now and I'm really loving it. I think I love it more than The Raven Boys so far. Actually, I think definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'm really loving it. Um, The only problem is like I'm in a weird audiobook mood. Like I'm in the mood to listen to the audiobook, but I'm also kind of finding it hard to like concentrate. So I keep having to skip backwards and re-listen to parts. So that's the only bad thing about this reading experience. Maybe I should just take a break for a bit and then get more into the audiobook zone, but we'll see. I've also made some more progress on Strange the Dreamer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got up to page 107, so not as much progress as I was hoping, but I love... I've already said how much I love this book, but it just keeps getting better and better. It's so hard to say things because I don't want to spoil anything. It's just better to go into this book not knowing too much, so I'm not going to say like too many of my thoughts. I love learning about everything that is in this world. It has amazing characters. Yeah, that's all I'll say, but <laughs> I just love it so, so, so much. So I'm so excited to... Oh my gosh, I just realised on the back of the book it has one of my favourite quotes. How could I not realise that? It's so stupid. <laughs> I actually can't get over this cover. It's stunning. My dream is to somehow find this edition with the blue sprayed edges. That's my dream in life. <laughs> Maybe I should buy another copy and try to do that myself. Haven't done that before, so it might turn out badly, but maybe I'll try to do that. <laughs> it's still on its way to becoming my favourite book of all time. Possibly. Probably. At this point, probably. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely going to be collecting as many beautiful editions of this as I can. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Anyway. So yeah, I finished work and I'm going to the gym tonight, but we have to do the quote on the backboard. So I finally uploaded my vlog this morning. So I got some amazing quotes and let's do the quote for this week. So 
this is the quote for this week. Fairy tales are more than true, not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. And this is a quote from Neil Gaiman, and I actually really need to read more Neil Gaiman. The only Neil Gaiman book I've ever read is Coraline, and I love Coraline. So I definitely need to read more of his work, especially because I've watched the movie Stardust, which is based off one of his novels, and I love that movie, so I need to read that book as well. But yes, yeah, so thank you so much to Aisha for recommending this quote. I love it. And it actually is on the flap of the Foley boxes, so I thought that was cool. But yeah, let's hang it up. Okay, so now it's time to open some packages, and I could not be more excited. I feel like I'm living a dream right now. I honestly can't deal with, like, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so basically, I have two packages from publishers, and both of them are like two of my most anticipated releases of all time. <laughs> which one should I start with? Which one, which one, which one? Okay, so this first package is from Pan Macmillan, and I requested this, and I just can't believe, and I'm so excited that I got approved because I'm dying. <laughs> I honestly can't believe it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm literally so excited. This feels like the best present ever. Oh my gosh. Oh my. <laughs> oh my goodness. I honestly cannot deal. It's so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so this is Marcus Zusak's new book coming out. Bridge of Clay. If you didn't know, Marcus Zusak's book, The Book Thief, is one of my favourite books of all time. I, It's so close to my heart. I love it so much. And so, of course, this is one of my most anticipated books because he's coming out with a new book after so many years. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Sorry, I was just reading stuff on the back. The Book Thief was on the New York Times bestseller list for more than a decade. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this is... The most anticipated book of the decade, that's for sure. How beautiful is this arc? I honestly cannot deal. I'm reading this this month. It's coming out on the 9th of October. Look how stunning the covers are going to be. This is Australian prices, but oh my gosh, I really love the cover for the hardback. <sighs> what is my life right now? I don't even know. So thank you so, so, so much to Pan Macmillan for sending me this. I'm so incredibly happy right now and I cannot wait to read it. I don't even know what it's about really, <laughs> but let's read what it says. So it says, the Dunbar boys bring each other up in a house run by their own rules. A family of ramshackle tragedy. Their mother is dead, their father has fled. They love and fight and learn to reckon with the adult world. It is Clay who will build a bridge for his family, for his past, for greatness, for his sins. He's building a bridge to transcend humanness, to survive. A miracle and nothing less. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I literally cannot wait to read this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. It honestly doesn't even feel like I'm living right now because this is a dream. What? What is life? No one knows. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. The next package we have is from Hatchet Australia. And oh my gosh, I honestly, I honestly can't with this. I am about to die. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> So I'm guessing you can guess what it is based on this packaging, but also how cool is this packaging? I need to take a photo first. Okay, I just took a photo. Time to open it. It's literally my birthday or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm trying to open it quickly, but I also don't want to ruin the book. Oh my. Is this not the most beautiful book you've ever seen? I'm dead. <laughs> I am like... This, no, <laughs> I honestly can't speak right now. I am so happy to have this. So if you haven't gathered, this is the arc for Muse of Nightmares. I'm dying. The fact that this arc has sprayed edges, my mind is blown. Honestly, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. These are my babies. <laughs> Once I finish Stranger Dreamer, I'm probably going to move straight on to Muse of Nightmares because it's coming out in October. And look at this bookmark that it comes with. I'm not going to read the back because I think it will be spoilers for Stranger Dreamer. But, oh my gosh, this bookmark and this book. Okay, I'm dying. I am so... What is my life right now? Two of my most anticipated books ever. I'm holding them. What? Oh my gosh. Let's just take another moment to appreciate this. <laughs> I look so creepy just poking out in the back. 
but like I'll never get over this. So yeah, thank you so much to Hatchet Australia for sending me this. I honestly am so thankful and I cannot wait to read it and I'm sure I'm gonna love it. And it's just so surreal to be holding an arc of a book that is part of one of my favourite series of all time because I just already know this book is already probably going to be my favourite book of all time slash series because this is a duology. Anyway, I just, I can't right now. I honestly can't. I'm just, I'm so, so, so happy. I'm literally sweating. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to get ready for the gym slash look at those two books for 10 minutes because they're just beautiful and I need to just consume their beauty. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna get ready for the gym and possibly read a little bit before, but we'll see. But oh my gosh, I'm just so happy right now. Actually, let's take our makeup off together because I need to do that. <laughs> Friday and I finished work now and I'll take this out. <laughs> so yeah, I finished work now and ow! <laughs> scraped my hand on the pavement. <laughs> I'm with Scruffy. We are going to do an unboxing, aren't we? Are we going to do an unboxing? Yeah. <laughs> but before we do that, I wanted to update you that I didn't read any more of Stranger Dreamer last night. I had to edit my video because I'm planning to upload on Sunday and I don't think I'll have time tomorrow. So I finished editing my reading journal video. I'm so excited. I hope you guys like it. Yeah, so I actually am feeling kind of sick. So I'm excited to just chill out and read for the rest of the night. But yeah, before I start reading, I do have an exciting box that I am here to unbox. So this is from Book Depository. I made an order and <laughs> you'll see. I mean, you'll obviously see what it is in a second, but I'm really excited. <laughs> Are you gonna help? <laughs> okay, so also someone was laughing at me having nail scissors to open a box. <laughs> and you know, it works, so you know. <laughs> Although I will say it's not the best technique. <laughs> I think a knife would be better, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> yes, this might take 10 minutes to open with these nail scissors. <laughs> this is such an exciting mail week. Like, I got the two arcs, and now I have this exciting box of books. Wow. My bibliophile heart is happy. <laughs> okay, so this is the box. So we are going to open it. I keep saying we, but Scruffy's not doing anything. <laughs> I'll show you a little peek. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, they're all like, okay. <laughs> I'll pull them all out first and then show you. Okay, so first we have, actually, I'm just gonna show you all of them. I got the entire Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy and I needed to buy this because I love Stranger Dreamer. I love Lady Taylor's writing, so I had to buy this trilogy. Also, it's one of um, Hannah from A Clockwork Reader's favorite series and we have really similar reading tastes, so I'm sure I'm gonna love it. And it's Lainey Taylor, so I'm really, really excited. Plus, I love these editions. Aren't they just... I really love them. I just think they're really beautiful. So yeah, we have Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which is the first book. Pretty. Oh, I'm really excited, actually. <laughs> and then we have... Oh, sorry about that. Days of Blood and Starlight. I believe this is the second book. Ooh, there's a cool map. Love... And finally, we have Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'm super excited and also, also got Nine of Cake and Puppets, which I believe is, um, yes, a companion to the Daughter of Neck and Bone trilogy. How cool is this cover? But that's not all. Let's, oh, look at these end papers. And then, whoa. Oh my. Okay, I'm obsessed. That is so freaking cool. I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is just stunning and it has illustrations throughout. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping I'm gonna love this series. I have faith that I will. Especially because I just love Lane Taylor's writing so much, so. 
I can't imagine why I wouldn't. Even though I don't even know what it's about really. <laughs> Those are the books that I bought. Um, I actually do really need to film a book haul soon because I haven't filmed one in a couple of months I think. So I have a lot of books to haul. <laughs> so yeah, now I am going to read A Stranger Dreamer with Scuffy. I think I'm going to read outside for a bit because it's still light and it's nice weather. So yeah, I am excited. Also tomorrow is an exciting day because I've got a packed day planned. I'm going to hang out with my boyfriend because he has the day off tomorrow. He only gets one weekend off a month so we try to spend it together. And I'm hopefully going to get a piece tomorrow then I have a dinner tomorrow night and yeah it's just gonna be a fun day I'm excited and yeah so I'm gonna try to read as much as I can of Stranger Dreamer tonight my goal I have it under the camera <laughs> just trying to get it so my goal is to get to the <laughs> I always set two ambitious plans but no actually I think it's possible okay so my goal is to get to the halfway point so yeah I'm hoping I'll get to that oh it's starting to rain no Okay, that was a close call because it started to rain. Oh, also last night I dyed my roots. I just noticed because they were in dire need of that. So yeah, I did that after gym as well. So yeah, it's starting to rain now. I freaked out because I had to get all the books inside. So now I'm just going to put my books away. Whenever I get new books, I basically have to rearrange my entire bookshelf. <laughs> Some rearranging will have to be done to fit these books. Actually, maybe I'll like set up the camera and like show you guys. So yeah, I'm going to do that because I'm just someone who has to just sort it out straight away you know what I'm saying and then I will start reading and get the perfect reading setup going on with candle and scruffy next to me and yeah I'm excited okay jokes I'm not gonna put them on my shelves yet because I think it'll take quite a while for me to organize and find a place to put them and I am just feeling I don't know I'm in like sort of a weird mood and I feel kind of sick so yeah I just want to relax and read so let's get reading <laughs> Just chilling by the Great Lake. I'm going to start reading my book. I got Scruffy hanging out with me. Got my annotation pencil case. Got my candle going on. It's gonna be amazing. Also, I mentioned this a couple times, but in case you didn't know, put these videos on in the background. While I'm reading, the channel that these videos are from is ASMR Rooms, and I'll link her channel down below. for a little bit so I was talking to him for a little bit now up to page 153 you know I feel like a broken record but I just love this book so much I honestly I I can't get over it like I just love learning about all the intricate details of this world and it's hard to say anything because I just feel like I don't want to spoil anything and it's just better to read this book knowing like barely anything <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> I'm having an amazing time. I'm listening to some Studio Ghibli music right now. And it's magical. <laughs> okay, so it's Saturday now. And I just got off a call with the co-hosts for Gigi Read Along, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue Read Along. That's happening next week, by the way. <laughs> Actually, by the time you see this video, it will be this week. It's this weekend. 15th of September slash 16th of September. I'll leave the information below. But yeah, so I just got off a call with them. We just went through all the details and everything and it was so much fun. We ended up being on the call for like two hours because we just had such a fun time and we were just having such a good conversation and it was... It was amazing. I just love them all so much. And I'm so excited for the live show. So I did read a little bit more last night of Strange the Dreamer. I didn't get halfway through. I got up to page... 209 of course i'm still loving it so much i don't think i'll be able to who goes there i don't think i'm gonna read anymore today because i do have a packed day planned it's already 12. no it's 11 30. it's already 11 30 so we're gonna go to the shops 
and I'm going to get my ear pierced. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm getting my ear pierced today, hopefully. And then I'm going to eat, buy some other stuff that I need to get. And then we have a dinner tonight. So yeah, I don't think I'll be doing much more reading, but hopefully tomorrow. But before we go, I'm just going to take a few bookstagram photos. And yeah, can you show my outfit, please? I don't remember where everything is from. But yeah, this is my outfit and I have these cool Harry Potter socks. And my slippers. <laughs> you going to wear your slippers out? Yeah. No, I'm actually going to wear some black boots, probably. But yeah, we're going to take some photos in front of my bookshelf with my probably all-time favourite book now. <laughs> <laughs> boyfriend to come with me to the Panic at the Disco concert. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're into them now, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I like their classic songs. We're going to their concert in October. Oh. That is actually really safe. Exciting. And then we got some other fun stuff coming up. <laughs> <laughs> to just shout out Tom because I know you love this book and you reread it recently. Also, I asked my boyfriend to film this clip. He's like, I'm reading! <laughs> he never reads, so never thought I'd hear that come out of his mouth. And he got a massive smile behind the camera. I've never been in this situation before. Boyfriend having arm around me while reading a book. What is this? Okay, so I wasn't planning to buy any books, but I think I'm going to buy two. So I think I'm going to buy this because this is only $12.99 and it's the Sonic Edition of Anne of Green Gables. I don't have a physical copy of this because I listen to it on audiobook. So, and I have the other editions of this. I have Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland and something else. So I think I'm going to get this. I also want to buy this. This is a poetry collection, which is like a feminist poetry collection and a lot of people have recommended this, especially Tom as well. I'm going to get this as well. <laughs> Are you disappointed but not surprised? <laughs> okay, so we're back from the shops now and I realised I couldn't even get my piercings because I'm on a medication that doesn't allow for piercings, so I'm going to get it in a few months. <laughs> but I did change my Tragus earring. I'm really happy with that. But yeah, so we did get some books. By we, I mean yes. My boyfriend even bought a book. Can you believe it? Because I can't. <laughs> he just got some random business book. <laughs> random? It's not random. I he was suppose. really into it in the shop. And, and I lost my page. <laughs> and as you saw, I bought The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. And also, I got Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. Oh, it actually says her full name here. Lucy Maud Montgomery. I got this edition because I have three other books in this collection thing. So it will match and it's really pretty. Now, what are we going to do? What are we doing? Chilling the freak out. Maybe I'll try to read a little bit while you watch Jane the Virgin. Thoughts? I won't read. You're going to... Ah! Are you going to read? Yeah, I just bought a book. Oh my gosh, you're going to have a reading party. Are we having a reading party? Maybe. It's a hardcover. It's <laughs> something that you're very happy about. 
Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a reading party. So he's gonna read his boring book and I'm gonna read- Boring? <laughs> My jokes. It's not, I think it's cool, but. <laughs> and I'm going to read Strange the Dreamer. I can't remember the last time we had a reading party. Did we ever first have one? Child. Oh, yeah, when he was reading Harry Potter and the Cast Child. Oh, yeah, and then I read a Monster Calls. Actually, explicitly remember that. I finished it in one sitting, and then you were like, Did you finish the whole book? Oh my gosh, damn. It's pretty much like taking notes. Two minutes, I mean, two seconds before I turned on the camera. My boyfriend said, How do I annotate? Oh my gosh. Are you actually going to annotate? Because I need to take notes. Cool! You can use my supplies. Actually, speaking of annotating... The <laughs> annotating? Speaking of... Annotating? Speaking of annotating... Speaking I of bought... annotating... <laughs> Annotat. Annotit. I bought... Annotit! I note it. <laughs> That's why it's called annotate. <laughs> I bought six more of my sticky tab packs. I'm really happy about it. I literally bought every single one they had because a lot of the time they're sold out and I just like to stock up. So I bought all of them because these are my favorites. Yes. Oh my gosh, we're gonna read and annotate together. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sunday and what time is it? It is 11.02. I just finished having breakfast. I was watching a bit of the live show that Miss Sassy Cassie was hosting, the Sassy Book Club, and they were discussing the Raven Boys. It was really fun. Now it's time to read because I do have basketball tonight, so I'm going to try to read as much as I can during the day. My boyfriend and I are going to have a little reading party again. We had a small one yesterday, but he had a nap after that, so that was annoying. <laughs> but he does want to continue reading today, so we're going to have a little reading party, and I'm really excited. I did read a little bit more. Not much. I got up to page 234. My ultimate goal is to finish this by today. I am reading it slowly just because I just want to take everything in and just, you know, I don't want to rush it. So I don't know if that's possible, but I'm really going to try. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, for the rest of the day, before I have to leave for basketball, I'm going to read and then hopefully after basketball as well. But anyway, so I went to my PO box yesterday and I saw that I got the postcard from Spencer. So if you didn't know, I was part of the Dark Shade of Read Alongs for August and I'm also going to be part of it for September and October as well. So Spencer, the amazing person that he is, sent postcards to all the co-hosts for August and he's also going to be doing it for September and October. If you didn't know, Spencer is a graphic designer, so his graphic design skills are obviously amazing and so excited to see this. He's already shown me like what it looks like, so I'm just so excited to see it in person. Also, there's this freaking sticker. I'm assuming he got these stickers made. He is honestly amazing and just what even. I feel so, so lucky right now. So I don't want to ruin the sticker, you know? Like, I want to keep the sticker, but I don't think it's possible. I sort of saved the sticker. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. First off, I'm loving this IGSM card. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Like, what the heck? Just look at them together. They look amazing. Oh my gosh. So I think I mentioned last week that I want to start a Dark Shade Magic Shelf, but I think I'm going to make it a Victoria Shrub Shelf, especially because all of her books look really good together. They're all in like the same color scheme, like black, white, red. I think it's going to look amazing and I'm going to like decorate it with that um, print that I got last week and these postcards. I'm so excited. I just love this so much. And he wrote in the back, Chloe, thanks so much for being a co-host. So grateful for your friendship. One down, two to go. Hashtag net. And he signed it. Oh my gosh, this is probably worth like a million dollars. <laughs> it has his full on logo. He honestly blows my mind. He's just so cool. <laughs> so I'm so happy to have this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Spencer. You're the best. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> also, the first 25 people who joined the live show also won one of these postcards. He's also going to be doing that for the September and October live shows. So other people can also collect all three if you're lucky enough. To win all three. Oh my gosh, good luck. Because I definitely recommend trying to get them because they're amazing. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to start reading. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, I did upload my reading journal video this morning. And I'm really happy that you guys seem to have really loved it. So I'll link it here if you want to watch it. I'm really glad that you all seem to be liking it. <laughs> Okay, so I have to be kind of quick because we need to leave for basketball, like, now. So I'll just quickly wrap up everything that I've read this week. And I did read for basically the whole day today, so I made a lot of progress. I didn't finish it, but I am determined to finish this today. After basketball, I'm going to finish it, no matter what. <laughs> so I got up to page 406, so I have just over 100 pages left. And I don't have time to gush too much, but I... Love it with all of my heart and I'm so excited to finish it slash scared, but at least I have the sequel ready to go. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I love it. So yeah, and then also this week I got up to page 
257 of Blue Lily Lily Blue. And I'm also really enjoying this, so I'll definitely be finishing this this week. And I'm going to be finishing this tonight, and I'll update you on my final thoughts in next week's reading vlog. But I just know that it's going to be... I freaking love this book. And it's probably my new favourite book of all time. I'm not doing it justice right now, but I need to go. So, so yeah. So let me know what you have been reading. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a good day or night. And I'll see you on my next one.